So I will show how to switch between configurations and uh, how easy that is. So you're starting with an assembled machine, which looks like that. So what we're looking at here is this is your, your grip, which also acts as the main body of the machine. Um, the design is meant that you're only holding it by the grip, you're never touching the rest of the machine um, to prevent contamination. <clears throat> so this part here is where you would adjust the depth of the needle. So when you have a cartridge installed here, this is your cartridge receptacle. Then as you turn it to the right or tightened, uh, the needle will be more exposed. As you turn it to the left or counterclockwise, the needle is exposed less. We call that throw, needle throw. Um, that also is the same part you would use to take the machine components apart. And here you can change an O-ring. Um, the easiest way to do that is kind of just pinch it out like that so you get a little exposure there and pull it. Um, these should last a long time. You won't really need to replace them, but you can use that to attach your bag and other sorts of things. So here you would access your cams and you can switch between cams just that easy. That's all. So what's happening inside is you have the shaft of the motor that goes into the center hole of the cam and then these gear looking teeth it's not a gear, but they look like it, right? So those teeth, um, there's a pin on the side that fits in between one of the teeth. There's a lot of teeth just to make it easier so you don't have to look around to find where it goes. You just put it in. Um, so you can switch cams. You can also use the provided Allen key. Um, there are two access holes in the sides of the inner housing. So you would just turn the bearing arm until the set screw is visible through the hole and then you can remove it like that and replace it with the aluminum or brass. So the difference between the aluminum and the brass, the aluminum is going to give you a smoother and slightly softer uh, hit because the density of the metal is about a third that of the brass. The brass being heavier um, will give it a harder punch. So in, uh, our recommendation is that you would use the aluminum for sort of delicate lines or uh, building up, bl blending, layering, stuff like that. Um, and the brass would be used for more heavy lines and solid packing and that kind of thing. So then once you've got that out, you can just stick your cam back in. It's recommended that you oil it between uh, switches. And then you can put your grip back on and you're good to go. So to show that sequence a little bit quicker, how easy it might be to switch a cam, you take the cam out. If you can grab it, put the new one in, put the grip back on and you're done. To switch the bearing arm, you take the cam out. Take the bearing arm out. Put on the new one. You'll notice there's a, a difference on the bearing arm. One side has a bigger opening. The other side has a smaller opening. The bigger opening always goes up. And what that does is it fits into this part of the cam, so it gets uh, recessed inside it. Doesn't take much to lock that down. Put your cam back in. And you're complete. Um, when switching between grips, same thing, as I'm sure you can tell, that's your 38 millimeter or inch and a half. If you want to use a 33 millimeter inch and a third, 1.3 inches, 
That's as easy as that to switch. You can switch to also your 27 millimeter, which is about an inch point one, or your shift grip. When you're switching springs, you just pull this one out. This is the one that comes standard with all machines. It's uh, most frequently the one that people use and people need. Sometimes they might want a heavy duty one. We offer that as well. The use for the heavy duty one is some cartridges have very light spring tension. In those cases, you probably want a heavy duty one to maintain a firm connection between the uh, cam and the needle plunger so that there's not chatter happening here. So the way to install that, I've actually got a dental tool here to make that really easy, but you can use a, a paper clip and bend it custom or something along those lines. So you want this end of the coil to be away from you to make it easier. Stick it in the grip until it goes all the way down. And then using that bent side, you just want to find the end of it. There's a little channel that it fits into. So you just pull it up into there and then kind of walk it around the upper portion of that channel until it's all the way in. And that's it. <laughs> 